Hey YouTube, Dawson Writer here. This is going to be a quick little video on this lost little comic that was lost to time. It's a small little mini pamphlet comic that came with some of the Jungle Fury toys back in the day. Now for context, I'm going to give a brief little mini history lesson. I'll try to include a timestamp for when I actually open this for those of you who don't want to hear me prattle on for a minute. But I just wanted to talk about this for a second because I think it's cool. So if you don't remember, the Elephant, Bat, and Shark Rangers are original rangers to the US. They were not in Geki Ranger. It took us all by surprise when I believe it was Elephant Ranger that was found first on eBay, and so we had no idea what they were going to do with these guys. The only precedent before this was Titanium Ranger, and he was used, and you know, we have done original stuff in the past, so we weren't sure, but it appeared we weren't going to use them until they did finally use the Jungle Master versions of the suits in the second half of the series, but we never did get these regular versions, and I was disappointed by that, because I like the Master suits, but I prefer the original recipe ones, and I would have loved to seen both used. But at the time, we weren't sure what they were going to do with them, it was all very exciting. It was exciting for me, because Geki Ranger is my first Sentai, and this is my first year collecting PR with having seen the Sentai and the fact that there were these new rangers made it even more exciting. So in my head canon, or like at least what I thought was going to happen before we knew what was going on with these guys, before we saw them in the Japanese magazine that teased the arc, I honestly thought they were going to be the students of the masters. So we'd have Master Fan, and Swoop, and Finn, and these would be their students. And then like they would be reoccurring rangers and they would lend the gear to these guys whenever they saw fit. Um, but that's not ended up what happened. That kind of happened in Dino Charge to a degree with reoccurring rangers. But this one gives a little bit of a backstory, I guess a quote-unquote non-canon you could consider, but I'll talk about that at the end. But let's just talk about it. So it does have the over-exaggerated muscle Power Rangers art and it like portrays Master Fan as much more muscly. It's kind of more in line in some of the artwork you'd see back in the old Bandai days. But it's a really sh short story about the Jungle Fury Rangers training under the Masters and you can see they're in their animal forms which I believe at the time uh, they weren't using in the show when this was first released. These guys, these animal forms from Geki Ranger showed up in the finale but this was before we saw the human cast. But basically they're training and they're having a hard time and the Master Rangers inspire the Rangers by revealing that Master Finn, Swoop, and Fant were the previous Jungle Fury Rangers before them. The Elephant, Bat, and Shark Rangers were the Rangers that preceded the current Rangers. And I think that's a really cool backstory. Honestly, I'm going to say this is my headcanon. There's no one to stop me from saying that. I think that's a cool idea. It explains why the Master Forms took that form when they were kidnapped and whatnot. I think that's a neat concept and a cool way of kind of laying down a backstory to justify your toys. And they even have, like, he has this elephant toy that came with it. And I think it looks really cool. I love the shots like this of inner cutting the monster design with the ranger design and then it shows them training as humans. I think that's really cool. You get another shot where they kind of advertise some of the stuff like the bikes that you could get. They had a ton of really cool non-show designs if I'm being honest. I thought that was really neat. But basically that's what happened. They inspire them with this backstory and it's just a little mini story giving a reason to why these guys exist to maybe inspire kids to want to buy these figures. And I just thought like sharing this because I thought it was pretty cool and I honestly forgot that they did this. It says volume one issue one but I can't find any others. I found this one looking through some stuff in my old room. I'm going to see if I can find any others but if you guys happen to know if they did more of these or where I could find them let me know. Other than I mean like where I can find them online and with what toys like oh it's in the drawer underneath your bed like you're not going to know that but I would really be interested to know but nonetheless I thought this was pretty cool because I really love these guys. Also would you guys like to see the Spirit Rangers appear as a focus or otherwise in a boom comic because I personally would but regardless I think this is really cool and I I still love the Spirit Rangers. That's it for this one, guys. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell so you can join us for my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.